all, welcome everybody to a uh, birthday performance of my mom, um, aka the devastating Lynn Charnay. And thanks to uh, the goodness in Sydney's heart, uh, we've been able to do this here for a while. And uh, I think it would be cool though, because she is 93 today. <laughs> It would, it, would be, it would certainly not be inappropriate if we all sang happy birthday yes. in anticipation of a good show. So, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Further ado, then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the devastating Lynn Charnay. So I have to tell you something because I always have something to say, and this is not a you know you heard about a work in progress. This is a work in chaos. <laughs> I specialize in chaos. So we were supposed to be in the other room. Yes. And all of a sudden, Sydney called and said, well, I'm sorry, but we're overflowing. I have to put you in the large room. I said, oh, Sydney, it's going to look empty in the large room. He said, no, that number of people will look good in this. But we seem to be overflowing. So, you know, I have a mantra. My mantra is gratitude attitude. And I am so grateful to all of you for being here. Thank you so much. It takes a life to realize what life is all about, and life is all about this moment. I'm here with you before we're through. What secrets will we tell you? I'll learn to know you well this moment. How soon to soon the hours fly. I hear the clock book ticking by. I won't pretend that time has been my friend. I bring my songs to sing my songs for you <coughs> until the end. As I live my days, I'll count the wondrous ways that brought me here to praise this moment. How soon to soon the hours fly, I see my life go ticking by. I only hope that time will be my friend. I live my life my life with love. Oh, don't you see? So if you can agree, then come along with me. I only guarantee this moment. Yeah. So, oh, I'm about to fall off this stool, honest to God. It's April Fool's Day. Anything can happen. <laughs> it's my birthday. Yeah, not always. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, I, some of you have heard me tell this story before that I, I heard Frank Sinatra singing a song on the radio, The September of My Years, and I thought to myself, he thinks he's old. So I called my darling friend, Roger Shaw. Are you here, Roger? Yeah. Okay. So I called my darling Roger, and I said, 
Roger, do you think you could write a word lyric about the December of my years? <laughs> and this is what darling Roger came up with. Oh, I can't see it. One day, you're working with John Kander. Next day, you're working with Joel Gray. And all the shows and movies crammed into a lifetime. How dear the memories stay. Through the years, I've enjoyed the parts that I was asked to play. From Bernie's letter, that was in a family affair by John Kander. To Madame Bouffier, that was in the Grand Tour by Jerry Herman at the Palace Theatre. I have had the most delightful of careers. Now I find that the memories are warming as I near December, the bright December of my years. Loved my peers deserve a round of cheering, if you please, from Jerry Herman to my dear Don DeLuise. And I'm still hoping to trade lines with Britney Spears. <laughs> and I'm proud, very proud, I'm still performing as yes. I hear December, the sweet December of my year. begin with those inside of my picture frames. Raffaella, my darling granddaughter, Susan, my darling daughter-in-law, and Tony, my darling son, are their names. And to you, who turn up when my show appears, May we all be here to witness 20 more greedy girls. <laughs> December, that warm and golden December of my year. Before this is over, I hope you don't see me falling on the floor because I keep my my dress is very slippery. I wish there was. I need some like uh, emery board or something between my dress and the stool. I feel I'm going to slide right off it. But we'll see. okay, so so um, uh, I I say I have retired three times. There's nothing you can do. In case I fall. Yeah. Oh good, maybe that will still keep me back. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's such a good Yay. You know, if you have only one son, it can either go well or bad. <laughs> So, what was I telling you? Oh, yes, yeah, so I have retired three times. And in spite of that, I have managed to be in Broadway shows by two of the masters of the American musical theater, John Kander and Jerry Herman. I was in a show with the wonderful John Gabriel, who will be here later tonight. He and I, with Don DeLuise, first starred in a review written and directed by Jerry Herman before he had anything on Broadway. So that was a hundred years ago. And the John and I are still here. And then uh, the last thing I did on Broadway was a show called The Grand Tour at the Palace Theater with Joel Gray. And I tell Tony he should put on my tombstone she played the palace. <laughs> so this song, next song, it's appropriate for a birthday, although it's a little depressing. And I'm not depressed at all. But uh, I sang this song in that review a hundred years ago in Prague. By Jerry Irvin. The 
girls in the office chipped in again and bought me a new spring hat. The boss bought the cake and Dad sent the same bouquet. It's all the same as last year and the year before that. Many happy returns of the day. Another candle on the cake. Let's have a toast. Let's give a cheer. Let's sing happy birthday, dear me. Let's sing have another empty little year. I belong. Yes. What will I have? Where's the sign? I await another cat on the cake. Another birthday rushes by. Sing, stand up, and show me your face. Show us all that brand new line. In his arms, I'm safe and strong. Though that dream can make me believe in those arms at last, I belong. What will I have when I awake? Another candle on the page. Segment. This next song is a song I haven't sung, but for two years Tony has been asking me to sing it, so I'm going to try tonight. And then the second one, he said to me, Mom, you know you did a song years ago. Really, I don't know, such a long time ago. Why don't you do that? So I'm going to try to do a song that I did years ago, after the first song that I've never sung. It's okay. <laughs> Live dangerously. Something cool. I'd like to order something cool. It's so warm here in town, and the heat gets me down. Yes, I'd like something cool. My, it's nice to sit and rest a while. Now I know it's a shame. I don't know your name, but I do like your smile. I don't, I frequently drink with strangers. I don't like to drink alone. And you were so awfully nice to ask me. Not so terribly far. You like my drinks? Confess it's very old. But it's simple and neat. Just, just right for this heat. Save my furs for the cold. A cigarette? Well, I don't smoke them as a rule. But I'll have one. It might be fun. Or something cool. Excuse me. I bet you wouldn't believe it. No, couldn't imagine that I one time had a home with so many rooms, I couldn't count them all. I bet you wouldn't imagine that I had 15 different bows who would beg and beg to take me to a ball. I bet you couldn't picture me the times I went to Paris in the fall. And who would think the man I loved? But so handsome, 
was written by this madman, <coughs> Marshall Barra, that I adore. He was most famous for writing Once Upon a Mattress, which made a star of who? Thank you. Thank you. Very good. I'd love to have an informed audience. It's wonderful. And uh, late in life, I met him, and he met me. He had an octagonal house. It, oh, oh in, in California, he had a car which covered entirely in denim. He was really a character. <laughs> Anyhow, he was a wonderful wordsmith. And the, uh, yeah, he came to my house, he stayed in my house. And one day I come in and I, in my den I have an orange velvet armchair. And there is Marshall with his shoe, his foot in his shoe, on my velvet chair, polishing his shoes. So I say he was the most wonderful wordsmith, a great friend, and the house guest from hell. <laughs> right, so he wrote the first song. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, I knew everything there was to know. That's when I was 22 centuries ago. Certain and secure, I faced each day without a doubt. For I was absolutely sure I knew what life was all about. Didn't you? Why, in my maturity, did I seem to know far less answers keep escaping me? Lost my neck, I guess. I, went to I remember when I could advise the wisest men. And I could be that way again if I knew now. What I knew then. I knew on the day I met him, he wasn't the one for me. I knew I should just forget him. But I had to wait and see. Oh, I've been sad before. And I've been had before. But oh my friend, I won't pretend it was as bad before. I should have told my heart to stop and count ten. But then I never knew when to say when. I know my way around. I never play around. Each time I fall, I get my ball. He's gonna stay around. I say it's done, it's done, it's over. Then, somehow I never know when to say when. I fall in love too easily. I fall in love too fast. I fall in love too terribly hard for love to ever last. But my heart be well schooled, for I've been fooled in the past, and still I fall in love too easily. I fall in love too fast, but now I've learned my lesson, and it's an easy one. If I could just keep them guessing, keep it fun, yeah, kiss and run. The skies are stormy now, my dreams are for me now. No candle lights for lonely nights that lie before me now. I say it's done, it's done, it's over. Amen. But then again. And again, and again, somehow, I never know when, I never know when to say when.
now I have a little light to light up part of the show. And I think my adorable, beautiful granddaughter is going to join me. So I have to tell you, I was in Stomastock in Woodstock. And this next song was taught to me by Lee Marvin. And I taught it to Raffaella. So we're going to sing Where Are You, Raffaella? in Star Trek, and he taught me the following song, which we're going to try to sing. Are you going to tell us two words about what it means? Yeah, I, we, growing up, I was certain this was this fabulous love song, and, and it turns out that it's a, a, a song uh, about the Italian uh, army Mussolini. and their uh, complaints about their equipment. Serza. Serza means heart. And what the song says is, thank you, my heart, for your capacity to love. Oh. 
Ich an ihm, ja oblichon, kag da blu blu. Sierza, tibie nie chce za pokoja. Sierza, kak rozdzielne świeci. Хорошо, что ты такое. Спасибо, сердце, что ты умеешь так любить. Помню, чая на нагряне, когда ее совсем не ждешь, И каждый вечер сразу станет about the leaves of red and gold, etc., etc., banal lyrics. And they are not at all what the French lyrics say. So I have done some of you have heard it before, but you'll have to hear it again. This is a translation of what the words actually say. And it says, Oh, how I wish that you would remember the happy times when we were lovers. Life was more beautiful then and the sun shone more brightly. You see, I have not forgotten. But the autumn leaves sweep away with them the happy memories and the regrets. And life separates those who love imperceptibly, without a sound. And the sea erases from the sand the footsteps of disunited lovers. Mm. Now aren't those pithy lyrics? Mm -hmm. Pithy, pithy. voudrais tant que tu te La vie était plus belle et le soleil plus blanc qu'aujourd'hui. Les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle. Tu vois, je n'ai pas oublié. Les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle. Les souvenirs et les regrets aussi. Cette chanson qui nous semble, toi qui m'aimais, moi qui t'aimais, nous vivions tous les deux ensemble. Toi qui m'aimais. La vie sépare ceux qui s'aiment tout doucement. Sans frère, tu brilles et la mer efface 
sur le sable les pas des enfants que je n'ai. My friend Barbara Russell, a wonderful actress for you, was doing a show, and as a result of coming here, somehow my son was picking me up, and he and Sydney talked, and they decided I should come back and be in cabaret again. So it's really all Barbara Russell's fault. So that evening, I met a fellow, a songwriter, who went out to eat after with a group of us, and then he sent me some of his songs. And this is one of them. Bob Levy, are you here? Yes. Okay. I don't I said I do. I hope I don't mess it up. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Paris was so sunny, I recall. Lovers strolled along the boulevard. The jazz Fill the air with song. But now there's something wrong. Paris, just Paris without you. No one here can change my point of view. Something is a without you. How I wish my wishes could come true Because Paris is a Paris without you Paris somehow lost its atmosphere Its romantic mood just disappeared People on the street smile when they meet But I think they haven't got a clue that Paris is a Paris without you. Everything that once was bright and gay turned to gray just one day. Paris used to be the place to be. Now it's just a lonely place. What else is my aching heart to do? Cause Paris isn't Paris without you. Everything that once was bright and gay turned to gray in just one day. Paris feels like it's been rearranged. More like London in the fog and rain. Paris feels so cold. Without you to hold, my poor arms don't know what else to do. Oh, Paris, Paris, without you. I meant to dedicate it to. I have had 
I have been the most, I told you, gratitude attitude is my mantra. I started out with the most wonderful, when I was at college, the kids would sit around and complain, I'm not going to do this like my mother, I'm not going to do that like my parents. And I would sit and say, I hope I'm half as good a parent as my parents. So I started out with two great parents. I eloped from college at 17 with the most wonderful man. We were not crazy, we chose well. And that young man who was unshaven young man is the product of that. Then eventually we parted and became the most loving friends. He went, in fact, to Jean I then married a Frenchman, Jacques Francais, and had the most wonderful marriage and traveled all over the world and he was the leading rare violin dealer in the world, etc. And he told me one day, he called, he said, guess who came to see me today? Who? Raphael, that Ralph became, Ralph, that was my first husband, and became Raphael in radio and television where he became a star in the Pepsi area, but he should have been a star in New York City. Anyhow, he said, he said to me, you better be very good to live because you're never going to meet another woman like her. <laughs> That's pretty nice for an ex-husband to say, and also nice for the other one to report it to me. So the other one, it was six years, he was legally separated when we met. He thought he never wants to marry again after his first experience, so he didn't look for a divorce. Then it took six years before, so we were together for six years before we were ever married. So and then, and then ultimately he died. And so this song, Paris Without You, because I went to Paris with Jacques for the first time and then many times, and this song really speaks of, of, of uh, it's really true for me what the song has to say, and I should have told you all that. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Nothing is in order. Just a second. Oh my God, just a minute. Just a minute. I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Okay. There's a wonderful woman. I went many, many years ago. I wasn't singing in those years. And I went and I heard a show. And I heard, I think it may have been Kate Sullivan, sing a song called The Lies of Handsome Men. What a great title. And I thought, oh, that writer is so wonderful. If I ever do sing in, in this world, I would love to be singing songs that that lady wrote. And her name is Francesca Blumenthal. And I did achieve that. I then did many songs by Francesca Blumenthal a few years ago. But this is one I have resurrected. Resurrected? Resurrected? Okay. I'm blasé and very well traveled. I'm never too easily unraveled. I don't look askance at romance. As for public displays of affection, I just gaze in the other direction. <laughs> but that's hard to do when we are in France. In Paris, they kiss on the metro. They neck at Napoleon's too. It makes one feel dated and retro with all those damn chestnuts in blue. That those balls have such gall right in front of us all. Can they afford their own room? In Paris, they pet on the paving. Who knows what in an opera box? But no one thinks they're misbehaving or glares at them through their binocs. Although they are doing what? No. Glares at them through their binocs. Although they're pursuing the stunts we were doing <laughs> only behind double locks. <laughs> Afraid that nobody knocks. <laughs> on the Rue de la Paix when they stop for a meal, when they storm the Bastille. A few tourists may clap as she squirms in his lap, but Parisians all yawn with ennui as they <clears throat> on the streets of Paris. They're so amorous 
on the buses, they sit on the cinema line. The natives won't make any fusses, they save their complaints for the wine. At Versailles on a tour, you become a voyeur of a thing that you have not paid to see. And you're 12 miles away from Paris. In a bistro or bar, or on top of a car, nothing's taboo in Paris. <laughs> on a scooter for two, it is all <laughs> And boom, maybe one, two, or three. <laughs> God, they do it in church, but the French merely say, Stay la vie. So when will it happen to me? <laughs> Gave me Rolf Barnes. Like the next two songs are written from in a musical for which Rolf did the music. But I also have to say that in Charleston, South Carolina, where I just did a show in February, and I had a wonderful, I was blessed with a wonderful musical director there, Margaret Maggie Coleman. And she and her handsome husband have come up to New York to see this show. So I can tell you so I am blessed. I have had just been so lucky in my musical directors and tonight with this genius. Okay, so now this next piece here. This is the most wonderful. I might wind up on the floor. I would be a bit surprised. On my glass. I'm going to put it on the piano. If they don't mind, I don't mind. I have a nice candy for the throat. John, did you give me that? Okay. So this is the most wonderful Frank Bazzini. You know I haven't finished this one. Thank you. Frank Bazzini. I don't kid around when I choose men to sing. With whom to sing, not to sing with. You notice that I know where to put my preposition. Not my proposition. So this is from a musical that Rolf wrote, and we're going to try not to make a mess. I'm going to try. He won't ever make a mess, but I could. Okay, here we go. I can see it all. So long ago I can see us there The way we used to be That dashing boy is you Can that charming girl be me? I recall, I said, 
the world was ours. I fell in love with you in Paris. A memory lingers on. We walked along the sand through a misty morning rain. And have a breakfast in the dark. Oh, I saw the ocean yes. at dawn. Oh, how I love you. Do you remember? The sun began to shine on Sacrica. The way I love you, you must remember.
the way he sings when he thinks no one is listening. Say his name, Pellegrino da Cierno. <laughs> so now I have to tell you a very exciting thing that he's doing a new book of poems and he has written a long poem to me. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> well, he has the most wonderful partner and the most talented partner, a wonderful composer, Michelle Achesiano. <laughs> And Renee Fleming should be singing in it, but she decided to, this, no, is it, where is that monologue? All right, I'm going to read what she wrote here. It says here, this next song from Michelle Akizian's opera, Gorky's Dream Garden, about the modern artist Harshil Gorky. Amazingly, she's written this song for this Broadway and cabaret singer. With words from our beloved poet Pellegrini Dutch, Pellegrino da Cerno and Kierkegaard. It's subtitled Diary of a Seductress. Oh, and then I'm supposed to read here. And the dedication under the title reads For the Devastating. That was Jan Wallman's way of introducing me. She always used the word <laughs> devastating. And I always thought, oh, that has two meanings, good and bad. <laughs> so for the, for the devastating Jan Roman Lynn Charney, Muse and Femme Fatale. Oh, see <laughs> Fatale. Oh, I have to tell you, Michelle, somewhere you wrote Femme Fatale without an E at the end. <laughs> oh. okay. So the, the song portrays me as the seasoned and mature, God knows, Seductress, in love at first sight of a younger man. <laughs> Wait a moment. Ecstasy, harmony, howl, fabulous, fantastic style. Fire, fire. Desire We'll laugh and play and dance and sing Old songs of youth and love We'll pose like gilded butterflies And gaze into each other's eyes To ponder the clouds above Ecstasy, harmony, how fabulous, fantastic size. Fire, fire, desire. We'll float throughout our evening flights on purple gossamer, hearts fluttering 
and pulsating, we'll keep our secrets to ourselves as we ride the sky as one. Let's have some fun <laughs> and some <laughs> without notions of content, commitment, God forbid. <laughs> Beloved, you are my passion. Come laugh and play and have a fling and feel my world of wings. We'll saw the sky like butterflies with wild abandon orgasmic sighs that will make you want to sing.
why wish me harm? Why not retire to a farm and be contented to charm the birds of the trees? Just disappear. I yearn for you much too much. When you are near, close to me, dear, we touch. <laughs> is so bittersweet that darling it's getting me down so on your mark get set get out of I don't know how many years ago, written and directed by Jerry Herman. Don't, don't push my thing. Okay. Don't push my thing. Okay. Now, so John went on to a very big career in film and television on Broadway. And these next two songs that we're going to do are from a show in which he appeared, The Happy Time, by John Kander. Now, I was in a, a John Kander musical, yes, so and John was in standby for Robert Goulet, and he also went on in the plot. That was my first experience on a Broadway stage, and I had just come from California, and I was standing by for Goulet, as Lady said, and I was scared to death. It was a major part in a major Broadway production, Candor and Ed, David Merrick, and I'd never been on a Broadway stage before. And these are a couple of songs from that show, and fortunately, it, it went well. The curtain went up about 20 minutes earlier because I zipped through the dialogue <laughs> very quickly, but I didn't miss a beat. Well, what was the show you that you played a long time in? The, the, the oh, the soap opera Ryan's Hope. <laughs> I sit on your drink and I'm get my pants all wet. So I'll sit right here. How about if I sit here? Very good. I love this lady. She is one of a kind. I say 
what is truth and one illusion. Please consider seeing things my way. <laughs> Was it always? <laughs> Memories cloud in a thousand ways Walking among my yesterdays Did it happen? Was it real? Eyes can see, but the heart can feel Visions vanish beneath the gate Walking among Yes. Hold, 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 wait for me. Light the picture. Let me see. Souvenirs of the past remain. Bits of pleasure and scraps of pain. Love may pass, but the perfume stays. Walking along our yesterdays. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold. Godmother of their second son, Douglas. Their older son, Jed, is my son, one of my son's close friends, and then they have a wonderful daughter, Tracy. But anyhow, this ballad is one of my favorites. <laughs> Built 
a pretty lie To call it love is insane It simply is plain confusion He is pulling the wool over both our eyes Oh, how naive to believe he thrilled me and filled the sky with a neon glow. Oh, makes the stars all grow dim, not him, just some whim, I know. It's just a dream that I want him. So As Dorothy Parker once said to her boyfriend, fare thee well. As Columbus announced when he knew he was bounced, it was swell as a bell, swell. As Abelard said to Eloise, don't forget to drop a line to me, please. As Juliet cried in her Romeo's ear, Romeo. Why not face the fact, my dear? <laughs> it was just one of those things. Just one of those crazy things. One of those bells that now and then rings. Just one of those things. It was just one of those nights. Just one of those fabulous flights, a trip to the moon on gossamer wings. Just one of those things. If we thought a bit of the end of it when we started painting the town, we'd have been aware that our love affair was too hot not to cool down. So goodbye, dear, and farewell. He is hoping we meet now and then. It was great fun, but it was just one of those things. Professor Joe Mackers, who used to have the most wonderful musical evenings. People that Joe would Mackers. do a concert at Tully Hall or Carnegie Hall, he would let, he had a special apartment on the east side that he turned over to them to stay in, and, and then he would have them do a concert the, the night before their concert at his home. So you would come and you would have hors d'oeuvres, then the beautiful loose side bridge chairs would be set up and they would do their, like a run through, a dress rehearsal of their concert and then there would be a beautiful buffet dinner. But one evening at one of these parties, Burton Lane was there, Burton and his lovely wife Lynn. And Burton sat down at the piano and sang some songs and one of the songs was this next song. I liked it so much and I I went to him afterwards, I said, gee, if I ever sing, I would love to do that song, and he sent it to me. And many years ago, I did do this song in my show, and Burton and Lynn came to the club and heard me, and it was just lovely. Well, I'm doing it, it's a really m even more appropriate to the, what it has to say, this song, is even more appropriate for me to close my show with tonight. Remember, it's April 1st. That old April yearning once more is returning, and I have a longing to wander. The leaves may be falling, but April is calling. 
primroses beckon me yonder. For one more walk around the garden, one more stroll along the shore, one more memory I can dream upon until I dream no more. One more time, perhaps the dawn will wait. And one more prayer, it's not too late to gather one more rose before I say goodbye and close the garden gate. That old urge is saying, it's time to go straying where no one but find me to try and recover the heart of a lover that I left somewhere lying behind me. Just one more walk around the garden, one more stroll along the shore, one more memory I can dream upon until I dream no more. For one more time, perhaps the dawn will wait. One more prayer. It's not too late to gather one more rose before I say goodbye and close the garden gate. Excuse me. One more rose. Before I close the garden game. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Chardonnay. So now that's really the end of the show, and properly I should go down on the deck and go out, and you should applaud vociferously, and then I should come back and sing this little encore. I'm too old, I'm too tired. Remember, I turned 93 today. For all we know, we may never meet again, but maybe, wait a second, I'm hoping to do a show on my son's birthday, September the 10th. Back, so it will be different songs, not the same show. So, so we, it says in the song we may never meet again, but I hope we do in September. Before you go, make this moment sweet again. We won't say goodnight until the last minute. I'll hold out my hand, but my heart. Be in it. Oh, no, this may only be a dream. We come and go like the ripples in a stream. So love me tonight. Tomorrow was made for some. Tomorrow may never come. For all we know, so love me tonight. Tomorrow was late, tomorrow may never come. For all we know.